ahoy there, I'm up well. Keeps your feet actually, and it goes all the way up to the top. Yeah. Hi everybody, it's Debbie and I'm just going to say it's such a beautiful day. I'm, I'm in um, a place called Penmarch. I think I'm here in Penmarch or I'm not quite sure. I don't know whether if I'm just outside it or anything. But I come across this lovely, lovely lighthouse here. So if any French people know where I am, just put in the comments down below. But this is a beautiful lighthouse and it's quite big as well actually. Look at that goes right to the top and I'm hoping to go this because um, it's open at two o'clock so I'm hoping to go inside so I should see and this is uh tells you all about it you know and I <coughs> and I have some more pictures here wow this is really good so this is uh this tells you all about it up here. I know it's all in French, but apparently, I can understand that bit, it opens at two, to, and it closes at six, I think. And um, this is uh, the dates of, um, I can't, can't see, the dates, I'm not that tall to reach the dates of them. Yeah, but this is the pictures of it as well. And this is how much uh, to get in the tarot. So I think it's three euros for an adult. I think that's what it says. Yeah, adult. And if you're old and that, it's probably a bit, you know, a bit cheaper. And these are like the groups. Yeah, so I can just understand a little bit. But yeah, so hoping to go in there. And there it is. And I'm hoping to do a, a cliff walk. So I walk around the coastal bit all around there so yeah and it's such a really pretty little little town as well some like little quirky shops they love their restaurants and um hi hello <laughs> love their restaurants and that and the nice bars so very pretty little place i don't know what that means there no tanks i mean yeah no tanks no parking tanks can't park there apparently but yeah, they've got all that round there, and some happy chappies, <laughs> and here they've got another, I think they've got, an, over there, I think they've got another lighthouse over there, and um, yeah, I've just noticed, I've just noticed this um, wall here, and um, I don't know whether you can see, but they've got these old, like, pictures, um probably telling a story on the wall it's very faded so it must be quite old so yeah as you can see there but a lovely beautiful look at that it's so beautiful and it's a very beautiful day today <laughs> so i'm hoping to do a coastal walk around is it called pen march i think it's called Penmarch. I don't know whether if I'm in Penmarch because I know there's a bus stop that says Penmarch or whether out. So if anybody's French or anybody knows a lot about France, um, please uh, sort of uh, say where I am. But this is me. But they've got somebody here. Look, you see a picture, a picture there of a man or a woman um, with a horse or ploughing in a field it sort of like tells you a story about it it's quite faded there that's very pretty beautiful so look at these lovely boats look at it they are so beautiful and the tide's out at the moment you can see all the rocks and yeah and there's a lovely blue sky see how blue that sky is and it's october as well so yeah, and you've got, oh, got 
it tells you all about this here. Uh, that's all in, I think it's all in French, I think, yeah. But, yeah. So, you can get a rough idea of it. another lighthouse um, so you've got the big one down there and you've got the littler one here I'll show you this one and I think yeah you can pay to get in there so I might be able to go go I'm trying to gonna go into both but they're open at two o'clock so I'm waiting waiting for till two and um, then do a coastal walk but I say <laughs> The, um, the other day, you know when things don't go as according to plan, um, the other day, my bless, bless him, my poor husband, he brushed his teeth in the morning, as you do, as you get up and that, and um, you know when he brushed his teeth last time with the rub, you know, the hot the rub, heat rub, well this time he brushed his teeth with my tube of Nivea soft moisturizer but it's the same color as the toothpaste or will be same color as that as in the thing so he, he got confused so he just took the first thing out and I didn't think he wore his glasses but he should have gone to Specsavers and he wasn't a very happy chap at first I saw him and he was like frothing at the mouth and I thought oh my god he's got rabies like rabies I thought, bloody hell, I better keep away from him. And then he, he sort of looked angry. You know what rabies do to you? It came like this. Like that. And I said, what's the matter? What's the matter? Just keep back. And he said, it's your blooming moisturiser. And I try not to laugh. He wasn't very happy. And I was trying to keep a straight face. But at the time, I felt sorry for him. And then um, the next day, he's um, we had a laugh about it. And the next day... Uh, it's so funny. Uh, I said to him, oh, I thought you had rabies or something. And he goes, oh, it's your blooming moisturiser. He goes, put it somewhere else or something. I said, it's in the toiletry bag with the thing. And he said, put it somewhere else. I said, oh, well, all right, all right. I said, but then I said to him, at least you had a nice uh, moisturiser mouth. So he's got a nice, nice mouth with moisturiser. Um, but um, and then the following day, I went out on the kayak, you know, put all the kayak stuff on and everything and I thought, oh, looking cool, you know, going in the kayak and then I thought, I'll well, have a lunch, have lunch on the beach. So I had lunch on the beach, this nice sandy beach, had lunch, sat there for, for a little while 
and then I thought oh, I've got to get back now so I got back into the kayak but I couldn't get back into the kayak because there was like waves coming but they're quite they weren't big waves they were, well about that high and but it's the force it was they were so strong and um tried to get in I couldn't get in I kept falling out and then I kept doing it again I kept falling out and then again and then every this wave came along and it came along like that if tip threw threw me out the bloody kayak trying to get into the kayak everything went out the kayak and um I had a mouthful of salt water in my mouth the, the my, my kayak gloves were floating because I took them off because I was quite hot. They were floating. The um the the GoPro was floating. The phone was floating. Um because I took it out and I, everything was floating. So I was just busy trying to get it in these waves. And the uh, kayak was full of like salt water. And to lift a, a kayak with loads of sea water and it was sea. It was quite it was quite hard. So eventually eventually I did get in and it. Uh, really quick um eventually but i thought these waves kept coming and coming so i was just getting a bit um a bit flustered you know so but at the time that it wasn't funny at the time but we had i had a load of people just watching just watching you know me getting in there like a, i'm like a drowned rat but um yeah so i was trying you know like you're trying to act cool and everything and then all of a sudden the waves come in you know, and I felt, oh God. And, um, but I look back at it now, me, me husband was sort of laughing about it. But today I'm sort of having a relax, relaxing day. So I'm hoping to go into this lighthouse here, the smaller one, and then the other one. But I noticed that there's a load of, as you can see, a load of these things, um, these like stripy things into the sea. So I think, they're probably in this, probably there for a reason. But it's probably like boats. It's sort of like probably warning the boats that there are quite uh, rocks are about. So, yeah, it could be quite dangerous if it wasn't there. It's just letting people know, know, you know, in the boats that there's sort of like rocks, as you can see. That's what I think it might be. I might be wrong, or you know. I might be right, I might be wrong, but that's what I think anyway, that, that they could be warning people that there's rocks, I mean, everywhere. I mean, it's quite rocky, rocky place. But I'll just see you later. So I'm hoping to go. Okay, right, I'm just going up these steps. Uh, I'm in the lighthouse at the moment, and uh, apparently it's Napoleon Lighthouse goes up as you can see look it's just a good uh, step thing it uh, keeps you fit actually and it goes all the way up to the top so it's probably be a nice view up there a lot of people following me <laughs> wow god how far is it gonna go I mean, it says something about Napoleon, but I can't read it all because it's all in French. So I'll film that bit in a minute. So, God, has I got lift? <laughs> lift, please. That's a. Oh, I mean, you got to go all the way back up. Oh my God, it's so, so many steps. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh my God. I suppose I've got these seat things to, um, to have a rest. Imagine that. Uh, oh. Imagine if you this was your home and just making a cup of tea and they're in the bedroom you to go all the way down and then go all the way up <laughs> oh. 
Ai, Oh, dear. Oh, I'm fit. Oh, dear. I don't think I want to see another step. Oh, my legs. Oh, oh I've got more. Oh, wow. More to come. Hope this view's worth it. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Get your heart pumping. Right. up there. Uh, he wants a cup of tea. Oh, you can go and get it yourself. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, right, nearly up to the top. Um, I mean, we're all dropping like flies. Right, going up. Sorry about my breathing, but I'm human after all. Uh, yeah. Oh, I've got a hand sanitizer. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oops. Let's... Oh. Is there enough room? Oh, no more steps, is there? Oh. Oh, Making a funny noise. Oh, blimey. This is. Uh, hello. Right, what's in here? Oh, I've got a seat. Wow. I've got a seat to sit down. Oh my god. Hello, Bonjour. Oh, knackered. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Now, this is. Uh, they should have had a coffee machine here. Oh. <laughs> or a, or a um, gin and tonic. <laughs> but yeah, that's Napoleon, I think. Is it? Yeah. But, oh my God. Imagine if you have to go all the way down to get yourself coffee and come up the top. And these are the, I'll take my hat off to these sort of people that, um, <clears throat> that work so hard of maintaining this and uh yeah so it's a lot of work i wonder what he's doing there that one looks like he's doing something else but yeah that's like a swinger a swinger yeah oh dear oh yeah i take my hat off to these sort of people and that's how their lovely napoleon he's a bit of a Womanizer, wasn't he, or something? Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to go outside here. I love the wood oh, and the wooden bench. And yeah, it's beautiful. I wonder what's in here. Hello, can I come in? <laughs> it probably goes out there, goes all around. But yeah, I'll take you outside. I've got to go walk down those steps. And yeah, oh, look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Well, I suppose it's worth coming up. The view, look at that. Look down there. Who needs a drone when you can walk up the steps? <laughs> wow. Yeah. You see all the rocks. You see those lovely gardens as well. Oh, it's beautiful. And what a day. What a day we're having. It's so beautiful. The weather. Can't grumble for October. And, uh, I think, as I said, I think these are warning people, warning the boats for the because the waves are sort of bashing against the, the rocks. So this probably must have all joined on before all this. 
but that's the other one I was going to go but apparently the woman said um, she said that's closed so I think I'm glad it's closed actually because I don't feel, think I don't feel like going up another flight of steps you know I must have um, lost a couple of pounds I'll probably put it all on later with um, cross-ons and things but yeah it's so beautiful look at that you know, you've got all the coastal the coast coast bit along there see it it goes all the way all the way around as you can see and you've got this bit here you've got a little church little chapel uh, it's so pretty take you out. you can see these these must be rocks there where the, where the waves are crashing against the rocks mm. so i don't think it'd be very good for a kayak or anything otherwise you know but yeah so lovely uh, Right, <clears throat> and we've got all this, it's a lovely view, what a view, I could stay up here for ages now, <sighs> look down as you can see, <sighs> that is so beautiful, a nice road there, and you've got the, um, you've got another bit over, over there where with some more coves and uh, that goes all the way around as you can see and there's over there I don't know the names but I go this way just trying to avoid people you know the rocks and I love it when it's like when it's all rocks and that rugged the rugged cove and that it's a bit like Cornwall it's all rugged and you know that's beautiful and the rocks I love it and you think probably England's over that way somewhere I don't know where probably over somewhere over there but yeah it is such absolutely gorgeous near a dog <laughs> hasn't got rabies on <laughs> but I found all the French people of what I met are really nice they can understand a bit of English or something they can't which yeah I should learn French but yeah you've got lovely gardens and it's beautiful I'm gonna go down because I'm absolutely knackered I think this, uh, this seat here is for sitting down for knackered people <laughs> But yeah, it's so really, I mean, yeah, it's really good. All this building and maintaining it and all this. So you can see by the pictures, the stories. And I've got quite a few as well. So if you understand, well, yeah, anybody can read French or anything, just put in the comments below and, uh, and that. So yeah. Well, I am absolutely going to go downstairs um, and get my breath back. So I shall see you later. I'll probably film me coming down anyway. So this is... Okay. I'm not saying nothing, just film me. Ahoy there! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They should have one of those. Um, they should have one of those machines up. The machines, you know, the um, the arc tap machines. You know, the yellow machines. They should have one because, uh, yeah, I'll have to tell that woman down there just in case cardiac arrest. Oh, oh dear. Look here, it's not for the faint-hearted. 
No, go down. I think I'm going down. Am I going down the right way? Or is there some? Oh, I just yeah. got up the top there, and I don't want to see it's another got out stair. Of the, um, the lighthouse thing. And I'm just walking this coastal walk along here. And God, look at these beautiful houses here. They've got a lovely view. And um, I come up to this like statue. Um, have a look. All those rocks. And beautiful flowers as well. So, I don't know what he's saying. Oh, the sun's in my eye or something. Yeah, he's looking up to. Oh, where's he looking up to? He's looking up to the sun. Oh, yeah. The sun, that's what he's looking up to. Yeah. And that's why he's covering his face. Yeah, I think so. That's what I think, anyway. Probably, um, yeah, looking up to the sun. Uh, oh. Yeah, the beautiful houses there, the little cottages. Yeah, so I'm walking along the coastal walk along around there. must have been a sort of this path along here where it's just got bashed about by the rocks but yeah it's those are lovely rocks here but... he's got a bucket he's probably doing a bit of fishing or something or getting some um what's it called those shell things Meet up. 